Hey guys, so I'm sure by now you've heard about that Binance hack yesterday. Well, supposed hack. Um, I don't know if there really was one or not. But I'll go over an article real quick. And the actual the CEO, I believe, kind of contradicts himself in a statement. Um, says they weren't hacked, but in the next statement he says the hackers. Well, I'll, sh I'll show you when we get in. Uh, so we'll go over that real quick. We'll see what's in my Binance account. Um, I did pull out a couple of coins that I had in there and put them in my Exodus wallet. I'll show you that too. And we'll do a uh, quick mining rig update. All right, guys. So I will see you in the computer. All right, guys. So uh, let's go real quick. Let's show you the news article first, what I was talking about, where the guy actually contradicts himself. If we can pull it up right here. Okay. Binance CEO... Cheng Ping Zhao, I guess that's how you say his name, um, announced that all irregular trades have been reversed, saying the hackers actually lost some funds as a result. But up here it says all funds are safe. Binance denies crypto hack rumors. Okay, they denied the rumors, but right here he says hackers actually lost some funds as a result. So. Were they hacked or weren't they hacked? If you ask me, they probably got uh, a hold of their bots somehow, which means they were hacked somehow, and did a little uh, irregular trading, I'm guessing, and that's what caused Bitcoin to drop. As you can see, if we go in right here, scroll down a bit, there's the drop yesterday. We all know that, almost a thousand points. There's something else today I'm looking into. Bitcoin dropped again, 9,900 down to 9,300. So roughly almost $600 it's dropped again today. I uh, haven't been able to really find anything on that or what happened. Maybe it's just some big whale sold a bunch of sh you know, coins. I don't know. Anyway, so according to the uh, finance, all funds are safe. There were irregularities in trading activity. Automatic alarms triggered. Some accounts may have been compromised by phishing from before. We are still investigating. All funds are safe. So here's my account. Uh, I got Verge in here, as you can see, 1,728 shares of that. Uh, I just cashed out another 250 yesterday for my mining. Got five Stellar Lumens, Cardano, and IOTA. Yesterday, I pulled out uh, my Tron and Poe. So I got 681 shares here. This is my Exodus wallet. 681 share or coins, po, po coins. And here's my Tron, 2,205 of those. So I did pull those out. I was, the withdrawals were suspended a little bit yesterday, but I was able to last night um, pull them out. So that's what I did, just, just to make sure I could. Um, but I'm leaving, I guess I'll just leave these in here. The Vibe, Stella Lumens, Cardano, and IOTA are not on this um, Exodus wallet. This is pretty much why I didn't pull those out. And I'm going to leave the Verge here. I'm just going to let the coins sit here until many months down the road, probably, until I decide to sell. But that's about it on the Binance hack. Like I said, they claimed they weren't hacked, but I think they were hacked guy contradicts himself but you know whatever all right so let me log out of here we go let's go check out simple mining real quick make sure everything is still up I haven't done anything different with the overclocks I've left them alone I'll probably let it go for another day or so maybe two days just to make sure um, Everything's good. Yes, we have still up right here. The console, let's look at that. So we've been up for 39 hours straight. Um, still at 32 mega hash for the RX 570. 560s are at 14.8 and 14.65 respectively. Cards are nice and cool, a little bit cooler than they were yesterday. So that's good. Maybe the temperature out. I got the windows open in my house. so. Maybe that's what it is. All right, so let's head over to mining pool. 
Let's see what we got going on here. Like I said uh, before, I did cash out again last night. It was actually early this morning. Uh, another 250 verge. So let me see what we've built up right now real quick if this will log in. Let's click on balances and I've got 43 right now. So let's pull up my little sheet. That should be 500. I'll just keep that at 500 because it did go over last night. So I'll start the week four here. So we'll change this to 43. Let's go back to week three. Let's see what numbers we can figure out. Let's go over to Ethereum. Again, if you're new to the channel, I'm mining Ethereum and converting it to Verge on Mining Pool Hub. I did notice that my rolling 24 hour average did go up. It's 0 0.0051. So let's go over to here. Carencio and see what that Ethereum equates out to today. And converts $3.62. I think that's exactly what it was yesterday, but Ethereum is down today. So, $3.62. This will be the new, new average here. So we're going to start over here. Let's pull the calculator up real quick. So we got 3.62 divided by 2, $1.81. So that should be 1.81 starting of the new week. And divide that by 2 equals same thing 90 cents so that's the same right there we will change this right here March 8th through the 15th I believe correct we will save that 43 coins this week so far let's go check out my nice hash rig so let's go remote login. All right. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Bitcoin is down today. It's not very, uh, not very comforting. But at least it's not 6,000 like it was what last month sometime. I think it was got all the way down to, it may have even dipped below 6,000 at one point. So here we are, virtual mining rig, my other one. This is just my HD 7970 card on my CPU. So that's at 96 cents and 15 cents. That's pretty much staying there now. So it looks like nice hash is going full time scam right now and just skimming off the top no reason why that should be down there like that but whatever so let's put those numbers in 96 cents and 14 cents dot nine six dot one four all right so far this week rolling average of three dollars and 61 cents and one dollar one hundred eight dollars thirty cents a month so what we'll do real quick is we're going to go, I'm going to go add up uh, last week's totals and I will be back in a sec. All right, so I've run the numbers and here we are, final numbers for week number three, March 1st through the 7th. Uh, average of $3.16 a day. That's after power costs on both rigs or $94.80 a month. Uh, that is a 34% increase over last week. Here's last week, average $2.08 a day, or $62 a month. And the week before that, we only averaged $1.19, 35 bucks a month. That was only with the two 560s, 
going. Uh, 289 coins mined in the first week, 433 in the second week, and 500 roughly in the third week. Third week we had pretty much a pretty pretty sure we had the this rig, the first rig, going the whole week, but this was only going for when did I get that done? Last Sunday? Something like that. So it was only going for a couple days. So I'm hoping that this three dollars and sixteen well I'm pretty sure that three dollars and sixteen cents will go up. Um this looks like more about what I'm going to be getting, probably on average, three dollars and sixty-one cents. Um, hopefully, Bitcoin goes up, Ethereum, everything else goes up. That number will go up as well. Um, so I guess that's it for today, guys. Um, as always, if you're new to the channel, I thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Um, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Usually got updates coming out every day, except for on the weekends when I'm usually at soccer. Um, if you like the video, hit the uh, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. As always, questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you. And I really appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, guys? Take care.